Hey everybody out there watching, thanks again for coming to another training and another kind of uh, product informational guide with Dylan and myself. I'm Kyle Davidson. I am from the GTA West. I'm here in Kitchener with Dylan Mendonca, also from Toronto area. We represent LG. If you were here last week, thank you so much. And if you're just joining us, thanks again for joining us for a new one. Really busy here at TA today, which is great. Uh, we're at the one in Kitchener, so beautiful location, the original location dating back to 1905. So uh, we're gonna give a little bit more time for people to hop on, get on the call, and then we'll begin the training in just a little bit. Um, again, thanks for training us. Today, we're gonna be doing three really, really fabulous appliances from LG, starting with our dishwasher. We're gonna highlight a lot of the features that make LG such a fantastic dishwasher now. We're also gonna talk about our award-winning agitator models. Um, for a long time, it was impeller, agitator, what do people prefer? We came to market with agitator, went straight to number one. I'll get into that in a bit. And then of course, the most iconic appliance out there right now, the wash tower. Uh, it does have a model number, the WKEX 200 HBA, but it's so iconic, you end up calling it by its name. So give us just a few more minutes. We'll let people trickle in. And uh, thanks again for joining us. Okay guys, how's it going? So, again, my name is Kyle. Thank you so much for joining us. We're gonna get right into it. We got some content to cover today. Some really exciting stuff, and if you're seeing this after they've recorded it and put it on the website, um, check out some of the stuff we got to show you about who LG is, why we have such great reviews, and why you should consider purchasing us, especially from your TA appliances, so thanks again. First, we're gonna start off with our dishwasher. And I'm gonna start off with a piece of truth. We didn't always make the best dishwashers. Uh, we had some complaints, some uh, issues, um, and ultimately didn't go great. Why am I telling you this though? Well, of course, because that's not the case anymore. It hasn't been for over six years. Um, and that really starts with the inception of one really important feature called quad wash. That's a bit of foreshadowing. We'll get into that in a bit. But there's a couple changes that LG made. And the reason is LG listens. And this is a mantra at our company that has really become part of the fabric of what we do. We get your feedback, even when you bring it into places like TA, they send it to us, we send it up the chain, and you could rest assured that your feedback, your concerns, and everything that you'd like to see in appliances is something that we consider, and we thank you for your feedback, and we spent a lot of time to research and develop those things, and ultimately, come back to market with really meaningful innovations. So, how did our dishwashers get to the B, that the level that they're at right now? There's really three main features that built the foundation that we do, that really set us apart. So. From our most entry level to our highest, every single LG dishwasher will have a stainless steel tub, our quad wash washing system, and anti-leak protection. So I'll get into all of those in a bit, but to talk about quad wash, 
Essentially what it is, is our washing system. Now, we were the first ones to pioneer bi-directional washing, meaning it can go both ways. And as it does, these two arms articulate back and forth, just like a sprinkler. And what you're left with is like very comprehensive coverage of everything inside the tub. Every nook and cranny so that no like stowaways of crud or food particles can be left there. So that's number one. Number two is the stainless steel tub. Stainless steel, more hygienic, longer lasting, more durable. Um, a lot of manufacturers will start you off with a plastic tub. Plastic expands and contracts at about seven times the rate of any glassware you might be washing inside of there. So it produces a couple problems. One, with the expansion and contraction, it could start to loosen seals and things like that. Two, uh, if you get a cut in it because it's not as durable, it becomes kind of a breeding ground for trapped bacteria. Um, and three, just the wear and tear over time. So with all those things, every single LG dishwasher has a stainless steel tub. That's brilliant. Lastly, every single LG dishwasher has leak protection. Well, why is that important? You might hear a lot of uh, companies say that, oh, we have leak protection in ours, which is true. But what that refers to in Canada is it has protection such that it won't fill up completely with water, like to the entirety of the volume, only to open it and then have a tidal wave come out. But that's par for the course, everybody has that. What we talk about with our leak protection in every LG dishwasher is that if even an ounce of water spills inside the dishwasher, it is contained within a tub at the bottom. So it doesn't ruin your hardwood floors, it doesn't ruin your baseboards, and ultimately it's safer so you don't slip on in the kitchen. Not only that, but that water being caught in that basin will also trigger the shutoff valve and thus cease the water from coming out. Now this is huge. Again, we don't give you better safety features as you walk up and down the lineup. That's available in any single LG dishwasher. Lastly, well, this is kind of a different point. We recently realized we have the biggest bottom rack in the industry. Um, we've measured them all up against each other. And it's nice to know that we just have this kind of superior capacity. And a lot of it's de basically design uh, innovations that we've created, our condensation drying system that we implement and things like that, that able to give us that size. Now why this is super important, at least to me, is especially if you have a third rack. If you don't have a third rack and you are considering getting a new dishwasher, I highly recommend one. Um, I loved getting my dishwasher with a third rack um, because I don't even use my cutlery basket. I've taken it out. I use it as like a caddy to take out like cutlery and stuff like that to my picnic table that's out of my deck. And so all my cutlery goes up here. This guy comes out and where it gets really interesting is if you're able to make steam, like in our true steam dishwashers. That's what you see here. Now this is one of our most marquee features and not only is it my favorite dishwasher feature, it's also what they told me to talk about today. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. Um, but the beauty of steam uh, comes in a couple different ways. One, who likes to pre-rinse their dishes? Nobody, right? You ever start like pre-rinsing your dishes before you put them in the dishwasher and then before you know it you space out and when you kind of come to you've just done the dishes? This is what steam is useful for. Say you just had a big party and you have a lot of dishes, like a lot of cookware that you need to clean. You throw it right in the bottom of the machine and then maybe you have wine glasses or espresso cups, maybe you have lipstick on them or things like that and you put those on the top. The steam in the beginning of the wash is important to know that steam particles, like their droplets, are about 1600 times smaller than water droplets. And essentially what that means is it can penetrate past things that water typically can't. So baked on lasagna, eggs, oatmeal, pretty much anything. It's going to get through that, lift that off, and be able to wash away in the pre-rinse better. So that's one. Two, with that steam basically able to expand the way steam does, if you think about your bathroom mirror, it gets everywhere, it's going to get all over the tub, and it's going to get every nook and cranny for better cleaning. And while it's doing that, the steam will help to superheat the inside of the tub in preparation of the drying. Now, also, and probably one of the most important features, is it leaves your glassware sparkling. This is because steam droplets are too small to hold minerals like calcium or salt, so ultimately no hot water spots and uh, no salt stains. So what you're left with is this beautiful shining finish, uh, a lot less work in the pre-rinse, and ultimately a dishwasher, which is overall tub hygiene is really, really good. So these are part of the innovations why LG dishwasher have become so prolific in the market, and every year we're seeing more and more growth. So continue for that great feedback as we keep implementing it, and you'll see a lot more growth from us in the future. Do you have a question? Yes, sir. Don's asking, we have two questions. Don's Fair asking, way. does it run quietly? 
Yeah, okay, so great question. Throughout our dishwasher lineup, we'll go as low as 40 to 50 decibels. So it does depend from model to model, but that's really in line with like industry best. Like, you know, my old dishwasher was 44. I can never hear it. And a lot of times too, uh, thanks for the question, Don, by the way. If you have questions like that, come on into like TA or one of the other retailers and talk to them because Raspberry's here. So they'll say something like, okay, well, where's your dishwasher? And if you say something like, well, you know, it's I live in a condo and it's next to my kitchen, I'm like, okay, so obviously decibels are a more important feature for you because you don't want to be hearing it while maybe you're watching TV or while you're cooking or while you're trying to sleep. So a lot of those questions are great and that's the great thing about coming in. Uh, you'll be able to trust the, the, the consultants here who have done this for so long. But ultimately 44 decibels for me, I can never hear it. It never bothered me. So I, thank you again for the question. Keep them coming, by the way. By the way. Another question from Pamela. How long is the full wash cycle? Thank you, Pamela. Um, so the question was, how long is the full wash cycle? It does vary. I mean, I should mention also, you can add, um, you know, different downloadable cycles through the ThinQ app, which we're going to get into a bit. We have a turbo wash, which is 33 minutes, or sorry, an express wash, 33 minutes, a turbo wash, which is 59 minutes. But the average wash is in line with industry standards at around two hours and change. So. Um, I have to research the manual because I so often go for the turbo wash or express that I, I forget. But uh, the other thing is when you add steam to get that really thorough clean I mentioned, it does add a little bit of time on top. Thank you. By the way. Another question from Samantha. Does the third rack wash cutlery as well as the other racks? I th okay, I think I see what you're asking. So the question was, does the third rack wash cutlery as good as the other two racks? Um, I guess if you mean on the bottom rack, where most people typically do, yes, it washes it very well. Um, I find that the one, I guess, learning curve thing is a lot of people that haven't had a third rack, maybe over overstuff it, maybe don't align them properly. Um, so if you have heard anything like that, I never had an issue with my own. Um, and just also because of the way the third rack is, it's such complete coverage on top that say you're lining up your cutlery like that, there's really like, you know, on the bottom, it can go to the, if, if you've washed your cutlery on the bottom, it might drop some food particles to the bottom to later be rinsed and filtered and washed away. But here it's going to be all self-contained here. Yes, it washes them as well. I guess there's the possibility for a little bit more food debris, but ultimately those dishes are washed and every single LG dishwasher is NSF certified, which is really good to know. Give a light of everything today too. Um, but yeah, when you are stacking that third rack, sort it out nice and evenly. Um, make sure that it's all you know aligned nicely and not just a mess, right? You have to put a little effort in, but then the beauty is you've gotten like you know a party's worth of dishes done in one of these third rack dishwashers. So um, definitely, definitely worth considering, especially with steam. Cool. Um, alrighty. We will move on to the agitator. So before I get into the agitator, I just want to draw your attention to this. This is our app called Think You. Now here we have pretty much all of these different ecosystem, these LG connected devices set up on here. You can you know, check on your washer on its cycle. You can look at your air purifier. You can turn these things on. You could switch the settings and have them to be able to remote start. The beautiful part of this is just the convenience of the user experience. So you can monitor your cycles from the convenience of your phone. In this case, I have it on a tablet. You can change your energy levels in your fridge. There's a whole bunch of things that we didn't really cover last time about L LG ThinQ that I really wanted to touch on. Um, and things like smart care. So there's a whole world to explore with a lot of these things. So um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your local TA or LG retailers. Uh, and we'll be happy to answer those. I'll put this away for now. All right. So. We only started making an, an agitator model last year. I mean, we had one way, way long ago, but you know, for all intents and purposes, we only really started doing it last year. Interestingly, when we came out, we wanted to do it competitively. So we took a lot of what we had learned about our models without agitators, and those have impellers, kind of look like a hubcap of a car. Um, and we took all the fundamentals we had learned about that and use the design language, use the learnings and how it works, and we put it into our agitator model, which debuted last year. As soon as it debuted, it went to the number one spot on Consumer Reports. This for us is crazy. This is like if a actress um, wanted to get into, you know, she's an Oscar winning actress, and she wanted to get into music for the first time, and her first album goes platinum. 
So we basically crossed over into this and instantly went to number one. If you don't know about Consumer Reports, it is the most trusted publication in uh, consumer goods. You can do different services like cars and even insurance and cell phones and all sorts of things. And they don't take money for advertisements. So oftentimes you'll see certain you know, uh, awards being like, oh, this is the most important award of the year. But you can pay them for that. Consumer Reports, you cannot pay them. They don't pay for advertising and it keeps their data really legit. The reason we champion this so much is because we look so good on it. It's just really uh, fair tests and consumer feedback, and you'll see that LG continually tops the charts, especially when it comes to laundry. So, I guess I'll... Sorry, you have a question? Alana, I thought agitators were bad for clothing. Okay, so the question was, I thought agitators were bad for clothing. Thank you for the comment. Um, such a So much to unpack with this. So... When I first started at LG about three and a half years ago, we didn't have an agitator. And I knew at that time our impellers were at the top of the charts. We literally had like the first three or four spots on Consumer Reports before another manufacturer had another one. So I basically got introduced to appliances as impeller is the best. The more and more I'm learning about it, some people just want agitator. They just want it. And so that's why we initially came to market with it. Now I think the concern is the damage to clothes. So quick lesson here which is kind of interesting you really don't need the agitator itself to clean the clothes there's no direct friction that happens that actually helps it you know remove a stain what you need is water chemical and uh, heat so soap with the chemical the water and then the movement right so you get all of that with the water being agitated even without an agitator um, what I you know personally I still like impeller more but I'm I'm just dis I'm discovering most people like the agitator one I like when I'm washing a bed sheet that it doesn't get tangled in the agitator. That's my biggest gripe. But with our agitator, we have something called four-way washing. So originally when I put this presentation together, I had this whole idea of like making it one big metaphor for hockey and like an agitator is the one who mixes it up and gets dirty and isn't afraid to do the dirty work. Anyway, I'll leave all that aside. But essentially with our agitator, it's not so brutish as that. It's very dexterous. It's going to wash in ways that get the clothes to go up and down and left to right. So that typical kind of damage that happens, if that does occur, isn't really something that we worry about with our agitator model. Um, if you even just take a look, and we'll see if Dylan can get in here, you'll see that at the bottom, our impeller plate is more pronounced. So we've taken the design language of the impeller that we originally had, and that's why we have such a great washing. I can imagine my voice is very tinny in there right now. But if you'll see too, we have wider fins, right? So these aren't the typical kind of um, thinner fins that uh, promote agitation. They're wider, they promote better activity in the tub overall. And then on the outside, again, we've used our stainless steel bubble drum. And this is again something that provides a little extra friction and gets the clothes, clothes moving in every direction. Um, but thank you for the question and comment. Yeah, if you have any more questions, please fire away, this is fantastic. Um, okay, so, um, this, for the sake of exhausting that metaphor, is what I was going to get at with the whole hockey analogy. Agitators are great. I mean, every hockey team needs one, right? Uh, I don't particularly, I'm a Leafs fan, I don't love Brad Marchand, but if you put him on my team, I'd be happy to have him, because he's an amazing agitator, right? But not only is he an agitator, he's a bona fide superstar. And that's kind of what LG did here. We didn't come to the market with just any agitator. We came with the best agitator. And that's why you see such phenomenal results from consumer reports, you hear great testimony from customers, and you see such sales uh, going out there because people are just realizing the power in LG and the, uh, the comprehensiveness of the watch. I think that's a bit it for agitators. Um, thank you for the questions again. And now I'm gonna get to probably what is the most important um, appliance of the last like two or three years, which is the wash tower. I'm going to have a sip of water. You guys take it in. So, the wash tower. A couple things to notice right off the bat. It's going to be shorter than a typical stacked unit by about three inches. Why is this important? Well, it makes it a champion for anyone to put in their condo, anyone to put in, like builders love it, and just really anyone at all, because people have all sorts of different ranges of height and mobility, so to get a typical stacked unit and have to reach all the way up here may not only be difficult, it may be just annoying for a lot of people. So we did something very smart and something very LG, and we just brought the controls down to the center. Now here in the center, 
you have everything you need so that you're not reaching up to try and tangle with the clothes on the top of the machine. This one we've actually got plugged in, and this here is the washer. So it's important to know, as you can see here, the washer and the dryer are powered separately, meaning you will need a typical setup, which is the 220 plug and also the uh, venting for the back. Um, what's important about that is if there is an interruption in power to one, it will not affect the other. So with wash tower, this isn't one of those typical all-in-one laundry centers. It's not one of those ones that looks stacked like somebody, you know, took a big pie slice out of it with an ax. This has all our best features. We didn't cut any corners. Even from the hardware, which is tempered glass, you know, more resistant to scratches, lasts longer, looks better, is easier to look inside, doesn't get as foggy as you see with some uh, front loads, um, to just the stainless steel drums in the washer and the dryer. How's it going? So again, stainless steel, better long lasting. If you ever have things like loose buttons, or if you have you know, belt buckles, anything that might have still weighed in there, it's not gonna damage uh, the inside of that tub the same way it would. So this is the WKEX 200 wash tower. Other features that have include turbo steam. Now the beautiful thing about the, uh, sorry, true steam, uh, turbo steam rather, in the dryer is if Dryer sheets are something you typically purchase. Now you don't have to. Basically, this does all the jobs of the dryer sheet. So it deodorizes, de-wrinkles, um, and it also freshens. So if you can save you know, X amount of dollars a year not buying those dryer sheets, think about the value that provides for you. When it comes to turbo wash, um, for me, it's actually take your kids to work day. I have to have my two kids here because it's March break. So I actually have four kids. We do a ton of laundry. Currently, my bedroom floor is covered in laundry that we just can't bring ourselves to sort. Um, but anyway, that aside, that's why we love Turbo Wash. Turbo Wash is going to save you a ton of time on your washing. You can do up to 10 pounds of clothes in 29 minutes. That's huge. I mean, if you're basically saving a half an hour per load. And if you add that up, and we're doing about six loads of laundry a week, that's about three hours a week that we're saving. So. These are kind of meaningful innovations of why LG has continually reached the top of the charge according to consumer reports and pretty much every other publication. So some other important things about wash towers, and maybe I can bring you over here, Dylan. Although it comes shipped as one unit, you can disassemble it, and it's super easy. All you do is unscrew this on this side and unscrew it on the other, and then you pop off the control board effortlessly. It's as easy as unplugging a power supply from your television. After you take that out, you remove this and you just disassemble the mounting brackets as you would any other uh, front load that's stacked. So this makes it modular. It'll come shipped as one, if they can bring it in one shot, great. And if not, they can disassemble it and move it to any floor of the house. So these are the kind of really insightful things that we're doing. And to remind you about LG listening, one thing we realized is when we first made the wash tower, we didn't make the hose, uh, sorry, the cord long enough. So a running change we've already made is to increase the length of the cord. It wasn't that it wasn't long enough, it's that some people could use a little bit of extra slack. And so we basically increased it from 5.5 to 6.5 feet. And these are just things that we listen to our customers and instantly begin to make changes. And this is how we're planning to continue being your favorite appliance brand and the flavor appliance brand across Canada. Um, I want to show you one thing real quick. Sorry, yeah, question. It looks like the viewers know about the whitewash tower. What may be the differences between the two? Fantastic question. Thank you, thank you. So. Um, it's white, that's number one. <laughs> it's usually less expensive, and that's number two. So those are, but the actual features are, inside the dryer drum, we'll use an Alcosta drum, not stainless steel. Alcosta, super high quality still, but you know, stainless steel, a bit more premium look and touch. Um, and then it won't have the turbo wash, and it will, sorry, and yeah, it won't have the turbo steam. So those three features I just kind of touched on, it won't have those. What it does offer, is like incredible value, the same dimensions, all the controls in the center, LG's famous washability with six motions technology, which I'm about to get into, and AIDD, which I'm also about to get into. Thank you for the question. Any more questions? Nice. Okay. Now, this is for some people to try. Essentially, I'm gonna show you what a six motions is. So, when you wash your hands, uh, you don't just slap them together, wash them like this. You do all sorts of different things, right? Especially if you've seen the World Health Organization, how to wash your hands, things up in everyone's bathroom, there's usually six steps. So that's an easy way to remember. We also use six motions in hours. Um, 
six motions is basically available to us at LG because our drum can spin both ways. So we're the only brand that can do this. So we have six different washing algorithms that depending on what type of clothes you put in, it will choose which ones to use. So what I do first is turn it on. I'm just gonna give you a look inside the tub while I talk about this. And I'm gonna float my fingers over soil and pre-wash. I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna depress those and turn it back on. Oops, I must have missed. Try that again. There we go. And this is demo mode. So first it's gonna go into a six motions demo. Now it's usually a lot more effective if you throw a towel in there, but I think I'm out of towels today. And we got filtration, swinging, rolling, uh, how many out here, Dylan, what else we got? Stepping, we got, and then we got two more, and it'll choose from that, and here's where it gets really interesting. This machine also has what's called AIDD. This is an innovation that's so impactful that we decided to include it in every single washer we would make front loads after we came out with it. So essentially what's gonna happen is, when you put your clothes in at the beginning of the wash, it's gonna jostle the clothes. Then, using very sophisticated sensors, it's going to determine the fabric softness. So, for instance, your jeans and denim will bunch together more than, say, silk or linen, if you were to wash so, because uh, those are more flow apart. So it's going to basically tell, okay, this is the way the, the clothes probably are in this tub based on how much energy it has to send to turn it and how they bunch together. Inside the machine, it has a memory of 11,000 hours, sorry, 11,000 different loads. And so while it's measuring yours and getting data on it, it's gonna say, ah, okay, this is like load 3,857 when I had this much linen, this much cotton, this much polyester, and then it'll choose from the six cycles on how to best wash that load of clothes. This is like next level kind of washing and just another innovation that's helping us to get more personable with your clothes, more hands-on, and be able to use all of our technologies to our benefit and yours. Okay, two more things about the wash tower. Like most of our washers, in fact, pretty much all of them at this point, it is certified by the National Asthma and Allergy Society. You can't walk in there and pay them a million dollars for the certification. You have to be able to prove that through vigorous testing, that if you had a peanut butter allergy or something like that, and you got peanut butter on your shirt, you throw it into ours and you do the allergen cycle, and we're the ones who are able to get rid of it. So we are the only ones currently with this distinction on any of our machines, and it's something we put on all of them because it's important. One in four Canadians has an allergy of some kind, so why not choose the machine that's able to get rid of those things, get rid of dust, bacteria, particles, all those things that are typically, you know, they're already a problem, but you think about them more, I guess, nowadays, so that's one huge feature. That is possible with the steam that's inside the washer. When we pump that steam inside the washer, it's gonna open up the fibers of those clothes, and with the six motions, very comprehensive washing, it's gonna get dirt and things like that out that most washers can't get out. So that's how we're really achieving these new standards. And lastly, before I let you guys go, I'm just gonna tell you about my favorite feature, which to me makes it a no-brainer to buy an LG appliance, uh, sorry, a dryer, which the wash tower comes with, and that is FlowSense. Um, one in 10 house fires, I believe it is, is caused by the dryer. It is the leading cause of house fires anyway. That's basically how the stack goes. And the problem is with these vending machines, if you don't clean out your lint filter, or maybe if you have a blockage of any kind inside the duct or outside or even inside the machine, um, it'll start to block up. Lint becomes so dry it's like tinder. And then ultimately with the heat of the machine, it combusts and start a fire. No good. So every single LG dryer is equipped with flow signs. This means that if there's a blockage of any kind, the machine will detect it and it will not work until you clear the blockage. This is such an important safety feature, I'm surprised it's not legally mandatory in every dryer. And we put in every single one of ours because this is the level of care we want to put into our consumers' homes. To me, it's a no-brainer. I know two people's houses have burned down because of the dryer, everyone's safe, it's fine. But the point is, if they had that kind of protection, it wouldn't happen. Um, it would notify them with a percentage of either 40, 60, or 80, and that is your level of blockage. And once you remove that, the machine will work fine. So to give you a story, we had a customer who bought one of our new dryers, plugged it in, didn't work. She's like, what the heck, I just got this dryer. She got an error code, E80, and she calls us, she's like, the dryer's not working. So we come in and we say, yeah, you've got a blockage. And our techs look at the machine and they open up the back ducting and they found out she had like a snowball of lint like this. 
and at the center of it was just a little screw. And I guess long, long ago, that little screw had fallen in her uh, duct and just years of lint blowing at it caused it to snowball up. And that's why she needed to buy a new machine in the first place because the old one got choked by the lint. Iris found it, she removed it, hazard removed, beautiful brand new machine ready to do the job. So to me, that's a huge feature. I always call it out. I uh, hope you guys appreciate this training uh, and just this information again. Thank you so much to Kitchener TA Appliances, to Jenna for putting this on, for Dylan, thank you so much as usual, and everyone here. Uh, Comment into TA Appliances, uh, LG is saving the tax for the next coming weeks. Uh, lots of great people. Your appliances are probably your third biggest investment, right, behind your house and your vehicle, so why not trust it to the experts? Come into the people that have been doing it since 1905. Again, my name is Kyle Davidson, and that's Dylan Mendonza. We're so happy to be here with you guys. Have a great day. Thanks, everybody.